So welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching King of the Asher. We're finishing off. We got Grady here. We got ABW, Honey Old Bay Wings, King and Ashura, Zappa Fries. We got the Orange Crush. We're about to finish it off. Grady, how you feel about the next episode? I don't know what to expect from you. Who's fighting again? Uh, the serial killer and the chill guy. The real chill guy. Bless us, O Lord, and through thy gift we are about to receive. Through thy about me, through Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's get into this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, share the videos all around. Let's get into the reaction. Yeah, sir. What? The doctor's uh, surprised. Uh, he was supposed to be yeah. He was supposed to have been killed. There shouldn't be a hospital anywhere on this island that could cure the virus I used on him. Is there another facility somewhere? The more I think about it, I don't think I've ever met a fighter so inconsistent as Sen Hatsume. You know the crazy thing? Yeah. He's not in good condition. Remember how strong Wakatsuki is? The dude laying down? But then, there are yeah, times when he gets in peak form. Remember they said that he Me lost two people in his whole fight life? Okay. One was Fang and the other was Hatsume. There are only two fighters really? that have made me mm. surrender. It was him and the Fang. The Fang of Metsudo, Agito Kano, and the Floating Cloud, Sen Hatsume. The only two to ever beat him. Wasn't Hatsume that a good one? Did he just get back in shape uh -uh. quickly by fighting lots of matches in he rapid the succession? Guy. This is stage two, so let's see how much better he is now. Face. Are you ready? So he's scared for his Not scared. It's just difficult. Because Bando has this. Remember how flexible Bando is? Mm -hmm. That's not good against That's someone. Like, like his fighting style, his flexibility kind of messes up how he fights. Mm -hmm. Nothing Sayak has noticed yet, but I can see why. He's in his sweater and tire. Huh? He's in his tire. His arm stretched. Mm -hmm. Did I just see that? There's only a few like fighters wit. out there who have what it takes to see through that move. None of the audience members are able to perceive it. Not without knowing what to look for. Yeah, I'm even managing to dodge them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A single one of Bondo's victims was caught off guard when they were murdered. But according to testimonies gathered from the survivors at the scenes, Bondo would attack his victim. I get it. It must be his hand. He was right. Mm. Bondo had super flexibility. Ah, oh, I see. I thought I'd seen his arm stretching a bit earlier, so that wasn't just an illusion. So he dislocated his joints, then used his skin to close the distance. What's wrong, Doc? Okay, why has he waited until now to pull this move out? Uh, yeah, why has he? That move seems pretty problematic. If it fooled multiple trained fighters, why wait till now? Why wouldn't he take advantage of that sooner? Maybe he didn't plan to use it, or what if? Poor guy. If 
we've been able to blind them, things would be different. Those that those things hit him was dead Bondo right? to move with a high like degree of precision. If he were able to wreck Bondo's depth perception by we're moving around a lot. But it's not a very good idea to wear yourself out at the beginning of the match. It causes mental fatigue. Which means you must have been scared. You knew you were at risk of dying from a single wrong move. He walks right into the maws of death to try and hold them open. Yeah. Yeah. You were strong enough to overcome your fear and fight back. Hot for me. I'm enjoying this. He's been using the same four patterns for his arm movements. From the top, from the side, from the right. Or the left. I need to see what he does at the start. A sweep from the left. No, a bounce. Oh. trajectory of his swing at the last second. You think you're the only one who can see through your opponent's moves? You're getting careless. The moment I connected the strike, you relaxed your body to the force of it to parry the attack. Oh, so I used the same move that Kano did. You won't need to worry much longer. I'll put you down with my next attack. You're an idiot. Now that I've figured out exactly what's behind your little trick, it's only going to work on a second-rate fighter. Sorry to say, I'm better than that. You're the one who's done for. You went left. The right was a fake out. So you thought you used one hand? Oh, he oh, are you sure? Should we stop the match? Yes, I told you I was sure. You should just ignore the audience. They're a bunch of idiots who can't see it's a trick. Let them believe what they want. Why ruin their fun? The match is going to be over soon anyway. <laughs> is inferior to mine. You are going to die today. Oh, he wants to kill. <laughs> I hope that guy wins. Bondo was having I thought you liked Bondo. Like, yeah, in the first round. Didn't you like him? He was wearing and he was fighting the doctor. On the no, I yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. One of my attacks will eventually land. Then this will be over. It wasn't long before Bondo's plan became crystal clear, which prompted Hatsumi to lead straight back into the Those jaws eyes. of death. <laughs> there you go. That's the only way to do it. This was playing out exactly as Bondo had thought it would. Until suddenly, it wasn't. Way. What? Oh, I have to go other guy. Who was him? Uh-huh. Not Bondo. Mm -hmm. Is that what he's got to That was clever. I wouldn't have thought of that. Where's Sam? What? He's locked down Bondo's arm. He's adapted it a bit. It was originally supposed to be used to pin down a shoulder or elbow. But with the amount of flexibility Bondo has, holding him down by his joints wouldn't do much. So Zen decided to use the move on the phone instead of the joint. Mm. He's just adjusting it. Amazing. So that explains why you attacked one of my joints earlier in the match. You wanted me to anticipate the same move again. Oh. Everything played out in this match exactly like you.
you want it. Still smiling. Well, shit. I guess the joke's on me. Ah. Oh. On his head, too. Broken <laughs> arms and on his head. He died? Hatsumi style Aikido. I don't even think he died. Shakuwe throw. You were probably the most incompatible opponent I could have faced in this tournament. But I'm glad it worked out this way. You really helped me out. I feel like I'm in better shape now than I ever was. And since he's such a slacker, he has to like push himself to like get motivated again. So that challenged him to brought him all the way back to like his peak condition. <laughs> Just trying to have me too much to go like that. Turtle. You sucked your cervical vertebrae into your body to lower the damage from impact. Enough with the small talk. I want to ask you something. Why did you hold off on using that arm attack in the first round? <laughs> oh, that's what you want to know. That's an easy question to answer if you've seen my medical charts. That move places extraordinary strain on my muscles. My body has bulked up a lot more than it used to be. So it's been able to handle the pressure. It's still a high-risk move for me to use, so I was planning on waiting. But once I won the first round, I couldn't help but feel restless. <laughs> I thought a lot about it, and I wondered if this is what it feels like to really want to win at something. I guess this must mean I really wanted to make sure I beat you. Well, I'm honored to hear it. <laughs> so basically, you think the two of us could have a rematch yeah, someday? Yeah, you need to use it on the doctor, Don't basically. You're one of those death row convicts, aren't you? Doubt you're gonna be around. He felt offended. Huh? He felt offended. Yeah. But that, I wasn't named one. It's in my Mm-hmm. If I can get myself back in shape, even a fang can't match me. So stop worrying already. Peace and love. He did tell him the next that. director of the association is going to be you. That is, if everything goes well. Dang, so he is wrong. Mm -hmm. You are the poster child for irresponsibility. He just doesn't really care to like. He's not motivated to like anyone else. I had to suffer because of you. And that's what he's talking about. He's like, you're one of the strongest people, I know I should but I still waste, in. like, every time he loses, well that's billions of dollars. You know, like, he has 15 losses, <laughs> so he basically lost him. Oh, I don't know how much. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's not because he's weak, it's just he bullshitted and caused him to lose billions of dollars. But he still relies on him because he's like, well, who else do I have that's as strong as you? So. And that's why Omar got offended. Mm -hmm. And no, he was just like, well... I know you're strong, but I don't know what I, what to expect. Like, are you gonna be good today? Are you gonna not be good? You're gonna show up today? Like, he doesn't know what to expect from him. He's but, going to withdraw from the tournament. I think my favorite characters. Ryan is number one. I'm not gonna give an order other than Ryan. Ryan's number one, but I like Cosmo. I like Oma, I like Sao Peng, the screaming dude, and I like Gao and the boxer. Those have been my top five. Why? Why do you like the screamer? Because he just screams all day and fights people. Like, he rushes in and fights. He's tough. And Gao Lin, he, that's his man's, the one who was like, you're not my friend anymore. I just want you to see that fight. <laughs> Once you see that shit, you'll see why I like him the most. No well, one of the most. And Cosmo's Cosmo. Obvious reasons. And Ryan, for obvious reasons. Oma. Yeah, he's cool. I usually don't like the main characters like that, but Oma's actually a... He's a cool main character, and since he doesn't have that much screen time, it makes me like him more. It's not just following his story. Okay. Oh, oh, this is the fight right now. Galline versus the Fang. I didn't even realize that. Totally you know, he's the favorite to win this one. So that's why the audience is getting all fired up because they're betting on him. Well, that's part of the reason. But they want to see him. He's the best. They love watching him in action. He captivates the crowd. Damn. Can you imagine if he and I were out there? Tear it apart. Yeah. Take it. Like a 
scavenger. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he can do. Who are you playing with? The thing? Uh-huh. Got on. The boxing squad was just talking about. <laughs> this is the fight I was waiting for. <laughs> I don't even know what's coming right now. This is the last fight of the second round. Let's bring it out. Who do you think He always had good fights though. Everyone who goes against him doesn't know it's gonna be a good one. such a large amount he's reaching here and doesn't he realize the opponent will be the fang of matsudo has he lost his mind or does he really feel confident that he could actually win this you still think things gonna win get ready to fight i don't know <laughs> Hitman. Fang likes beating people and establishing his dominance. So he's like, since Gallon is, is known as the world's greatest boxer, I want to beat him in boxing. I consider this man to be easily the greatest boxer of his generation. All I've ever wanted is to beat a man like him in a fist fight. They got off just. Popping shots off as soon as it started. So they got, you gotta use the same style. Yep. Disappointing. So there was just enough technique to be cocky. Oh. This is completely different from how he fought in the first round when he was wrestling other dudes. Strictly use outboxing. 
and that places Calon at a strong disadvantage. Things a lot bigger. The Fang's got a much longer reach. Calon's got a better chance with an infight. But I'm sure Calon's probably figured that out for himself by now. He got five inches on him and eighty pounds on him. Like some Dragon Ball Z fighting. That guy's nuts. Does he realize it's Kowlon out there? Like the best boxer in the world. Why is Akito trying to go toe to toe with him? Can't actually use elbows in boxing, but since it's not a real boxing life, you know. Boxing. Mm. And I've been waiting for this one. Mm. So you cocky bastard. Trying to fight me like you know how to box. And counterattack with a straight right. It's working. Oh! The pain is quivering. Mm. I don't think I've seen anything like this before. So then, is Kalon going to win this? Kalon attacks the back. This is a different kind of box. <laughs> I'm not going to play boxing. Did you anymore. really believe there was a day to outmatch me at boxing? Of course. The fang of Natsuno is about asserting physical superiority. I fight. Therefore, I am. Quit babbling. <laughs> Can you switch the style up now? Seriously? 
What the hell is the Fang thinking? Why is he so hung up on trying to box? He's not. He got a loser. He's cornered. I think so. His other techniques have been sealed, so boxing is all he's got left. <laughs> Well, can he conquer all the techniques? Hmm? Can he conquer all the techniques? Mm -hmm. Except for boxing. Yeah, basically. I've been just punching this man for like the past 10 minutes there. <laughs> now he's been mad. I bet he's pissed. I'd be pissed. This is the first time he's ever had to fight a battle while being this constrained. Cause he's, all, he's used to just overpowering everyone. He's not used. To, it's similar to Ryan, but how Omar was mm -hmm. getting him excited, Gallen is doing the same thing for him. What kind of move was that? He's adapted. He mm -hmm. brought a hell of a Remember fight. Remember what he did to the other dude now. when he adapted? I understand now. This is what it must feel like to be at the end of the road. Boxing is in your forte, but that seems to be. Yeah, this is his real style. That right there? Yeah. Dancing? <laughs> Not dancing. They'll explain it. It's called the formless style. The fang looks different. He must have changed his style. I think I recognize that motion. It looks like Sistema. Sistema, originating as a Russian military martial art. It's a form of practical fighting that focuses on how to handle certain situations that may come up in hand-to-hand -hand combat. There are no pre-choreographed patterns in Sistema. Instead, the fighters use flexible movements starting from a relaxed stance to counter their opponent's attacks and suppress them. Aikido and Sistema often get compared to each other. Aikido's movements do look very similar to Sistema, but... That doesn't mean they are. In fact, the thing was when he got, remember how in the first he round he started smiling and then he beat the ball dude in like two hits? So we didn't get to the really see what he was capable style. of. Mm -hmm. So this is what he, like the full power it's of It's custom it. made for his abilities. <laughs> and this technique is one that he created specifically to defeat Kaolon Wamsawat. So the bit, formless style, yeah. 
it's basically his own martial art that he created. And every time he adapts, he creates a fighting style to handle one specific person. So in the first round, he used the former style to beat Okubo. And now he made the former style to beat Galen. So it's specifically made for him. Evolution allows us to conquer. It's like he makes martial arts while fighting for his That's his main, like, his ability. I stepped into the punch on purpose? Because he's giving a punch box so much that he knows how to handle it. The knives are even trying to box him in there. But I've seen through that. This whole time, that was the known as the world's greatest boxer. But I'll show you boxing isn't the only thing he knows how to do. He just doesn't do everything else. So now he's got to release his like full power. Which is more time. He's a boxer and he does more time. But no one's ever seen him do more time before. Oh, yeah. What is he, the king of The king, yeah. The king of his country. So no, like, I thought he only knows how to box. Why is he, when did he learn how to do all this shit? Kowal has decided to abandon boxing. No, what's this? What's Kowal using now? That's not Muay Thai. That's really not even Muay Thai. It's like a version of Muay Thai mixed with boxing. That's how he does it. We gotta leave. What time is it? Look. Six fifteen. All right. Since that day, 
As a result of his unrivaled talent and effort, Kaolon became the top knock buoy ever in the history of the sport. Known by many as the Thai God of War. But as he progressed, Kaolon came to determine early on that Muay Thai had a glaring weakness. It undervalued punches. When limited to the rules of traditional Muay Thai, that isn't an issue. It's a completely different story in a real fight. I am a sword for his majesty. Any loss is not acceptable. So now that he has his formless so, cell, in order to better he has his boxing Muay Thai, he is going to win. He's going to adapt to his Muay Thai style. He's going to start adapting to Muay Thai style. Muay Thai and works. But you saw how much damage he took just trying to adapt to the boxing? Now finally mastered two different martial arts styles. Striking has become his specialty. He follows the basics of Muay Thai, all while peppering in attacks with his hands. He invented this style to cater to his own strengths. He has a much smaller build than other heavyweights. So he focused on perfecting the art of striking. When it comes to hand to hand combat, no one can outmatch Kaolon's punches. Oh, yeah! Who gives a shit? I can give a rat's ass how good you are. I can adapt. I can survive. That's what the Fandom Mitsu does. Yeah. I thought he was gonna try. I don't know why he didn't try to. That was a perfect chance to. That one's definitely the best striker in this whole show. I knew it. He was really holding back in the first round. Please forgive me. It wasn't my intention to slack off in that match. There just wasn't a need to push as hard as I am now for that particular fight. From this moment on, we're dealing with life and death. He just missed his artery. That was too shallow. The difference in their abilities was clear. I knew it. Kalon's got an advantage with strides. He can barely keep his guard up. I like this one. No, Kalon's keeping it that way. He's trying to take out his arms and legs. Akito's getting pummeled over and over by the top Muay Thai fighter around. Any minute now, he's gonna crack. It was the perfect opportunity for Kaolon to make his move. But Kano had a great opening as well. Was that to reduce the damage? Really? Hang on. I've seen this move before. It's just like Oma's move. It was called Indestructible. Satsuma Kiryu's obsession was strange enough, but now Fang is using Oma's technique. Is it just a coincidence? Why is everyone using oh, Oma's technique? Go, Kaolan! What's going on with Oma? How do they know it? Both just trade on right now. I like that everyone's reaction to this fight. They were all like surprised. How could he still be standing? 
Even if the Fang were it's able to use man. Indestructible, it would be impossible to completely neutralize Kowlon's attacks. The accumulated damage had already been done. Agito's striking abilities had been greatly reduced. But it was easy to see that Kowlon was showing heavy wear and tear. He had not expected such a hard and sudden blow to his left cheek. He was unsteady on his feet. His sense of balance was compromised. Mm. The final exchange of blows was about to begin. <laughs> Broke his fist. Mm. Mm. It's a broken fist? Yeah. His knuckles are broken. He's still punching. Honestly, I feel like... It's not even pain anymore. It's numbness. Yeah. They're just going off straight adrenaline because they want to run. Uh-oh. You know this one thing? He hasn't grappled at all in this fight. I remember he adapted to Okubo's wrestling style. But now it's in his system. He has like wrestling mastery figured out in his head. But Alan is not a wrestler. Ryan is in trouble too. He's not even happy. Nope. So I guess you were right. He won. Yeah. He wanted to just beat him with fight uh, striking. But he couldn't do it. He was literally too good. So the only way for him to win that fight is he had a wrestler. And he wasn't expecting that wrestler to really punch him the whole time. So when he grabbed him, he went and kicked him and just caught him on guard. But he's still a better fighter. He's just a striking guy and got it 100%. So then, that's the fight of Metsu. And he used to learn from the other party. So now he knows what he learns from Dowling. So he can use that too. Dowling's lit though. Fuck with him. But he's definitely not happy. Neither of them are. Mm -mm. Cause that was the only one that he knew. That was so humiliating. I did not faint, but I still just barely won. He was already injured. But I still had to go and push him harder. I don't deserve to have anyone call me the Fang of Matsuro. Mm. He's depressed after that. I'm so unlucky. The bones in Kaolan Wong Sawat's right fist ended up cracking when he hit me. His bones broke. But he could barely begin to process that he had been injured, mm -hmm. let alone severely. He didn't realize that he, he kept attacking. Him. He still attacked him. I felt fear. He scared him. What was I afraid of in that moment? Him? I'm scared of a wounded man. I... Conflicted. That's what I said. Strong men often find themselves conflicted. That's what I like about this show. It's not like he just won and he was like, yeah, I won. He won and he was like, now I'm depressed. Due to his That's superior cool. ability to cool. adapt. Kowlan Wongsawat required a lot more than just fighting prowess in the ring. He had to resort to a bit of cunning as well. He most likely considers what he had to do a form of cowardice. Mm. As far as I see it, it's a luxury to approach a fight like that. It makes him arrogant. Ah. This is a good opportunity for you, Akito. Like, Take it. your time and really think about it. Like, well, yes, it 
Oh, yes, before I forget, Lord Varaduma. Hey, you do keep this between us. You won your bet. I sent you the money. You should have it now. How much I, was I, it? I, I was they fast. never showed I it. Was like you. A lot. Yeah, yeah, well, they were all acting. Got some time to burn. I don't think so. Why don't we throw a little... party for ourselves wow, to celebrate the end of the second round? Oh, wow. mm -hmm. You'll make they sure there are lots of people there. Why is this in the garage? <laughs> of course. Would it be a party without them? I'm glad the two of you found a way to get along. <laughs> I appreciate your effort. You were always the steward that I trusted more than anyone. You are like a brother to me. Mm. <laughs> and a naughty little boy needs to be kept in place by a firm older brother. I need you back with me, no matter what. What? He's very like, don't get destroyed by this loss. I need you back. Saying like he's so like the naughty one, and he's the older brother who needs him to keep him I would be. like in check, basically. I would have died, right? Yes, he had enough time to keep attacking from when the referee stopped the match until he stepped in to break it up. We have footage from 32 of his previous matches. Eight of those matches, he had the opportunity to keep attacking his opponent, just like this one, including the first match from this tournament that makes nine total. Out of those nine matches, there were six in which he kept attacking. Out of those six fighters, four of them died. And the remaining two fighters have since retired. A one in three chance, huh? Was it a coincidence that he didn't attack me? Or is there some reason behind it? It doesn't matter. I've still got a lot of room to grow. So you still want to go on it? I can't feel my right hand. I don't know if it'll feel right. I might not be able to box again. Yeah. I've got no regrets. I did the best that I could. He's happy though. He got to fight so much. Right. Friend. Nice thing about his buddy. You were amazing. Kaolan. Absolutely incredible. You've gotten so much farther ahead of me now. That's all he needed to see. Yeah! Not as bad. <laughs> I like all the side stories with all, all right. the characters too. Right. It's like you Next got their little thing. Count. You got the billionaire thing. No more hesitating. You got Nogi's thing. I know what I need to do now. Yamashita and his son, the Kurei family, Oma, all it's the like they're, stories. They all the stories. Yeah. yeah um, but they all have their own story. <laughs> so now that's the end of the second round. The last day of the tournament is only two days away. It's finally last day? Yeah, last it's day, two days away. Because every day is a, a different round. There's four rounds in total. So now they're about to show all the remaining rounds, though, like fighters for the next round. It's finally here. Before much longer, all of this will be over. Alright. Osmo, this is Oma. We got Wakatsuki. This is Matuba. We got Ray. This is Jim Guy. We got Hatsumi. This is Ken. That's the round three. Damn. So you see the strong. I'm mad Ryan's not in it, but other than him, though. You got all the strong. Cosmo right? and Oma? Yeah, that's how round three starts. Cosmo versus Oma. Just Yama. so I understand. Well, that's if. Yamashita Corporation is withdrawing from the tournament. If he wants that's to right. Oma is already fighting. Far more than he should have to. We're done. What's more important is he survives. So you're waiving your right to use a reserve fighter? Yes. I don't want to switch out fighters. There's no other reason for me to stay in this tournament. Well, not this year anyway. 